and here comes our first crew of the day in on approach. Today is a windy day down here. It's going to be an interesting one at the boat ramp, but welcome back crew to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, and today we are visiting Boynton Beach. So our crew looks pretty solid as they're coming in. Our girl's got the legs off the side, goes for the step on, and the pro move, the reverse kick out. Nice move right there. She didn't even have to look. She just knew. Put her foot back there. Pushed the boat off ever so lightly. She stepped off of the lines. Great job. I mean, this crew lit it up as we're opening off. So our next crew, they're backing down the ramp, but the engine's trimmed down, bro. He's got to notice because he's going to start hitting some angles here in a moment where it's going to drag. It looks like Wifey on the dock has noticed it as well. She's yelling for him to stop. And you always, once you start coming down the ramp, the angles on the boat are going to change. And that's exactly what was happening here is as the bow was coming up, the stern was going down, which means that motor was going even further down. Even though they cleared at the top, they definitely weren't going to clear as they continued to go down the ramp. So Wifey wisely catches it. And Hubby gets out of the truck to take a look at the situation, but I mean, they just got to trim it up. So that one can confuse people sometimes as well, is that, you know, they think, oh, well, it's not dragging at the top, but that doesn't mean anything once you start backing down the ramp. So Junior jumps into the boat and is going to take care of it for him. There we go. They should be good to roll now. And our crew just came in, but our girl's getting in the truck over here. This crew's definitely been over to the sandbar. They've had a good time down here on the water today. Oh, she just dropped some, several things out of the truck. A plastic bag and some other stuff. Surely she's going to grab it, right? No, <laughs> of course not. She's just going to get in the truck. And let the plastic bag roll around down here. And now me and my crew are going to have to pick it up before it winds up in the water. I This is one of the ones that frustrates me to no end, guys. You're going to bring plastic around the boat ramp, around the water. At least make sure you take it with you and don't leave it there. All right, so this one's a little tough to see. But there's actually a girl in the water. She was driving the truck. Got out of the truck. Walked down. Got in the water and is kind of in between the boat and the dock, which is an absolute horrible place to be. The last thing you wanna do is put your body between a boat and the dock. If something goes wrong, a wave comes in for some reason, somebody's wake, it, it's gonna be a mess. So they're trying to push the boat over. I don't, I mean, they drove this boat in, so I don't know why they're not driving it onto the trailer. Instead, here she is, right in between the dock and the boat, pushing it over. While the guy in the neon hat got in the water as well and is trying to walk it over onto the trailer. I mean, there are better ways to do this. I'm not sure what exactly motivated the effort to go down this way. Like I said, I definitely don't like her being in between the boat and the dock. That's just a little bit dangerous. So they're trying to get it pushed over so they can get it brought up onto the trailer. And it looks like they finally have it at the right spot. So our guy in the front is going to get the winch and start trying to winch it up. So they look pretty good now, but again, just a very, very strange approach to trying to get a boat on the trailer down here at the ramp. After several minutes, they finally have this one kind of lined up, and our girl's looking in the water. She's lost something. I'm not 100% sure what, because I kind of didn't see it happen. But now she's definitely, yeah, she's definitely looking down into the water, trying to figure out. I'm assuming she's lost a phone or something. That's a rough one, once again, because I couldn't understand why she was in the water to begin with. She was originally driving the truck. So she was in the driver's seat of the truck got out of the truck, walked down into the water to try and push the boat over. And in that process, we've lost something. So you can see the guy here looking down. Now the water, for those of you that have never been to Boynton, 
actually is pretty clear here. I mean, there's a pretty good depth perception. We can see down to a pretty good distance. But that can be a problem as well sometimes because it's a lot deeper than it looks in some areas. So, but we'll see. I mean, they're looking down, so I'm not sure if they've actually spotted what they're looking for. So our girl's back in the water again. Gonna give the search. Whatever it is, it, I don't think she's finding it. If she's looking right there, that's shallow enough she should be able to see it. So it's either slid down the ramp, or she dropped it somewhere a little deeper. But I don't think she's going to be able to look long, because this truck we see up here to the top right, they're coming down this ramp. There's another boat coming onto the dock, and that's his boat. So our girl's actually talking to the truck that was trying to back down the ramp. And she's trying to plead with him not to back down the ramp. I guess she's maybe going to get snorkel gear or something to try and find what she's looking for. But the guy doesn't appear to be willing to oblige. The boat, as you can see, the T-top coming in here is already getting onto the dock. And I'm not sure, but she was definitely trying to stop him from coming down. And it appears he's not stopping. So our guy's starting to back down. Again, she's walked back to her car. But you can still see one of the guys looking down here for whatever it is. I mean, at least if the guy's nice, maybe he'll stay a little bit off the dock because they're looking right on the edge of the dock. So, I mean, he can come a little bit over and if it's a phone, won't really risk, you know, hitting the phone. Somebody in the blue shirt up there talking to this guy as well. So here we go, he's backing down. And one of our crew that was looking for it's leaving as well now. And yeah, he's not gonna give him that courtesy of trying to pull a little bit off the dock just in case. I don't know if he can get any closer to the dock than he actually is with this trailer. And he's definitely just gonna back right down and unfortunately that means whatever it was she was looking for, if it was anywhere near the dock, probably just got ran over and that thing is done for the day. But, I mean, they're good to go. They're going to get out of here and I'm assuming the rest of our crews are going to probably wind up leaving now as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at the inlets. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.